Greetings, friends. Stay tuned because towards the end of this vlog, I'm gonna be sharing with you some information on a special tool that you can get for your farm to help you to keep the weeds off. But historically, fire was used to one, burn off old crop residue, two, to control unwanted or AKA weed population or growth on one's farm or field, and three, to improve soil fertility. Fire is also beneficial in grasslands and forests for helping the germination process of certain plants and seeds. For example, the sequoia. It's not until the seed is exposed to fire that that outer coating of that seed burns off and is able to germinate for growth. But also, in addition to grasslands and forests, fire can be a beneficial process to use in one's garden, one market garden. We use a flame weeder here at Big Pond Farm in and around our garden to help control the unwanted plant population. What we do is after we've cropped out a certain crop, we come through next because there's a lot of unwanted plants that tend to sprout, especially in the early stages of your farm where you're slowly getting rid of those unwanted plants and seeds. A flame weeder can be an extremely beneficial tool to help suppressing the weeds. So after we've cropped out that crop, we come through with the flame weeder and we burn off uh, unwanted plants that have grown, some of the seeds that may have been left over from unwanted plants previously, and we burn up some of the older crop residue that breaks down and goes into the organic matter in your soil. For those longtime viewers of ours, you may remember back when we were at Rose Creek Farm, we took video footage of a great flame weeder and that flame weeder was f from Farmer's Friends. And it is an excellent flame weeder. Not only is this tool super cool, and it looks really cool when you see it used at night, but it's also very effective at doing the job. And you don't have to carry around a huge tank like we typically do here at our farm. I know many of you have concerns about using fire, using flame weeders in your garden, just for your concerns of the biological health that is in your soil. But there's no need to fear that because there have been studies and research done that has shown that there are no negative side effects from flaming. In fact, there's an article that is entitled, The Effects of Flame Weeding on Soil Microbial Biomass. It states, quote, flaming had little effect on microbial biomass deeper in the soil, five to 10 millimeters. The soil temperature at five millimeters deep was raised by four degrees Celsius and at 10 millimeters by 1.2 degrees Celsius. It is concluded that the threat that flaming poses to soil microorganisms is small. So not only was that pyro weeder from Farmer's Friend cool, it's also extremely effective. But we are super excited, I am super excited about an upgraded tool from the pyro weeder that I've just come across and we have partnered with Forward Farm Tech to help promote. Yes, we're looking forward to bringing this tool on our farm here at Big Pond Farm and we are opening up the pre-orders for our viewers, any of, any of you out there who see this vlog. And it is from Forward Farm Tech and it's called the Kelvin Cultivator and it is super cool. And some of the advancements that it has over the pyro weeder from Farmer's Friend is the Forward Farm Tech Kelvin Cultivator, their torch heads are covered by hood. And this is beneficial because if you're flaming in areas that are windy, and we tend to get winds here at our farm, that hood keeps the flame under control so it's not blowing you on you or around in certain areas that you don't want the flame to go in. It also has a push igniter on the handle. So you don't have to worry about trying to ignite it right at the handle like we have to do with our flame weeder and it can be, it's quite the risky feeling trying to feel like you're going to ignite this, this tank that has gas hooked up to it and you're hooking it up right where the, ga the fire, the flame is getting ready to come out. And another thing that I like about the Kelvin Cultivator is the handle is offset. So that way you're not having to walk on your beds, you can just walk right along the path of your walkways and use the flame weeder, the Kelvin cultivator, on your beds while you're walking down the trench, not having to worry about stepping on your soil or compacting it, if you're concerned about that. 
and it also has a number of different adjustments on it for some future tools that they have down the pipeline that they're working on. So once again, we're super excited about the Kelvin Cultivator and look forward to using it on our farm. Down in the show notes below, I'm gonna be providing some information on how you can order, pre-order, join me in pre-ordering your Kelvin Cultivator to bring flame weeding onto your garden so that way you can suppress and keep those weeds down and just run a more efficient farm. We're trying to progress and continue to improve on our farm and I'm sure you are too. So make sure you join us in that. So that's it for this vlog. Make sure you join, check the show notes, show notes below. Also don't forget about the Homesteading Life Conference. Make sure you come join us for that. That's it for this vlog. We'll see you next time. And we'll hopefully share, be sharing with you very soon how to get your flame on in the garden. Forward Farm Tech is now offering pre-orders on their Kelvin cultivator and they will begin shipment June 25th, 2018. a comment below even if it's just to say hey also make sure you don't miss any of our new videos so subscribe and sign up to receive notifications each time we release a new video also you may want to check out these videos right here and also check us out on Instagram Facebook and Twitter see you next time